Hello guys, this is Flex Productions and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a logo or a transparent logo with background slash transparent background. Uh, so you see like mine right here, where it says 3P, it means uh, E Flex Productions with the 3, you know, and all this, you know, with the bars right here. Okay, first what you want to do is um uh, decide what colors you want, like um, me it's purple and black and gray uh, you have to decide between uh, you, what colors you want and when you have your colors what you want to do is um, come to uh, Adobe Fireworks um, this is uh, by the way this is uh, I'm gonna do it with Fireworks okay uh, first what you want to do is uh, go to file new and I just press okay doesn't matter it doesn't matter what color is the background Give it a little time here. Okay, it's not responding. Okay. I'm oh, come on. Okay. Here it is. Um. Okay. First, you have to do. Um. First, what you want to do is. Uh, you know, um, you're gonna have it like this, and you're gonna go to the uh, ellipse tool. You're not gonna keep it pressed, uh, clicked by two seconds, two three, and you're gonna click rectangle tool. Then you're gonna come here and make a, a rectangle uh, like that. Then you're gonna go back to this. Um, how do you call it? Um, your mouse mouse um cursor whatever okay uh, you want to have a center like see you see how it makes the next right here you're gonna have uh, you wanted to put it like that then you're gonna have to go to okay once you have it like that go to the um ellipse to again and you're gonna click it you're gonna make a and s oval circle whatever you want to call it right about like that go to your pointer tool again and you want to center it uh, right about there then you're gonna come here and it doesn't matter here or here I'm gonna do it here and like better and you're gonna come and you're gonna decide which color you want I'm just gonna do um my colors inside it's gray as you see here Okay, we have to change the no this. Just do it black for now. Okay, you see. Okay, first um, you're gonna click on your on your um circle again, and you're gonna come to um this pencil right here, and you're gonna click next to it, and you're gonna um you're gonna decide the other color you want around the around the circle. Okay um. Uh, mine it's purple and you see you at first you won't see it as much so you want to come here and you know bring this up a little bit and there you see first put it all the way to a hundred percent and you'll see it's big so, so you just want to go down a little bit and decide how big you want it and don't worry about this uh, blue line right here it won't appear you know I usually have mine around 17%. Yeah, 17%. Okay, and then you what you want to do is um go to the text tool, click it, and you're gonna click here. Gonna make like a square there. And I have my my fun fun. I have it on Rockwell X Bolt and. Uh, the size is 230 okay so I'm gonna put 3 capital P okay and then you're gonna go back to your pointer tool okay back to your pointer tool and you're gonna click it you're gonna click your text bring a little bit up see up and you're gonna click on the corner you're gonna make it a box and you see as you see it's almost coming it's looking good um click on the um, 
background and you're gonna change the color let's change it to another color okay we can do it um gray now okay there okay um then you there it is basically that's your logo and not everything all right that's pretty much it um thanks for watching this video comment subscribe read and all that good stuff all right guys um uh yeah watch my other video and tell me which which logo looks better i mean which background looks better with the logo okay guys um thanks for watching and keep subscribing all right guys uh thanks see you later